Welcome to our little lesson about how do I integrate a macOS system into an Active Directory domain. For this uh, demo we use a 10.9.5 release of macOS. We usually would uh, try to achieve this by going into the Users and Groups Preferences, which we can see up here top right, or via the System Preferences and then the Users and Groups options. To actually be able to change or modify the settings we need to click this lock symbol, authenticate ourselves again and now we're able to uh, use the login options and uh, it just uh, basically press a bu button to join. This utility will not uh, be able to easily integrate your macOS into the domain because it just tells you please uh, input the domain name, which I just did, but it didn't work. So usually what you do is you press the button to open di the directory utility and uh, then you get a little bit more uh, preferences and settings to change and that will work. So we use the open directory utility, unlock the interface here as well, re-authenticate and then choose Active Directory and the button with the pen symbol. Now here we just uh, type in the name of the computer account. It will be uh, created automatically in the Active Directory. We type in the Active Directory full qualified domain name of that domain and we have a few advanced options which here basically t tell us uh, what's the user experience, uh, mappings between Active Directory attributes and the macOS attributes and here who may actually administer this uh, macOS system. So we basically give him the groups, the domain groups that may administer this macOS system. Now if we press bind we just saw we need to enter an administrative account for the Active Directory. So we may, we may enter it. What you will see now is that it will throw an error. Because one of the things that's very important to know is that authentication usually is pretty sensitive to time synchronization. And in this case, the time that is uh, shown here in the macOS system does not, uh, um, does not really compare to the time that we have in or on the domain controller system. So I will just adjust the time, set it to the right time approximately the same time as on the domain controller and then if we try again give the credentials to the domain administrator in this case then it will work. It's gonna take a little bit of time there are different steps involved in integrating this macOS system into the Active Directory but the end result will be we are able to log into the macOS system with user accounts that are are only existing in the domain, in the Active Directory domain, and uh, yeah, basically we we can uh, just use network users to log in instead of local users that are already present on the macOS system. Later we will see that we have uh, the ability to even say who of the network users of this domain may log in. We can basically restrict it or we just can just say everybody who can authenticate against that Active Directory domain is able to log in and that's what standard uh, what the default behavior here. So now if we click on users and groups preferences again on the login options we see the domain the NetBuyers name of the domain we activate it here it's Bierbrauer. We can now just a, uh, open the login window and now we will type in administrator. There is no account that is named administrator local on this uh, macOS system, so it will just uh, search for the or authenticate against the domain. It will take some time for the first time because um, there is no home directory and stuff, so things need to get uh, prepared for the first login of the administrator account. This account is then a network user, a network managed user, uh, which will be uh, which will be seen in the users and groups preferences. So we see I could log in as 
administrator. I'm just going to create a quick shortcut for the terminal, open the terminal, and uh, basically use the who am I command to uh, display the name that I'm logged in with. Then I will change the directory to the users directory where we will see I got a home directory here locally as well. And now, yeah, we just uh, will open the groups and users preferences where I can see that my account is a different type of account. It's not a local account. It is a network managed account. Here again, what we will see now is I'm the domain administrator, but I'm not allowed to unlock the interface, the administrative interface. If I try that and uh, click on unlock, it's not going to work. So this is something I don't have. The, the rights, the permission to unlock the administrative interface. If I use the regular local admin, this is in this case the CL admin for client admin, then it's going to work. So we see we still have some uh, restrictions on this account as, a, as it is uh, seen by the network managed right beneath my username. We see this is the option where I can say that I don't want to have everybody log in onto this uh, machine, onto this macOS system, but only the in this case, the person Mike Krueger. But I'm going to change it back and uh, exit the options and log off. Thank you for watching.